have such a good rapport, we got it done. <laughs> but it is that kind of environment here in the Big Ten semifinals. The winner beating Nebraska in the title game tomorrow. Michigan playing its third game in three days. The sixth seed. They're able to win today would be the highest ranked win in program history as Felia slices her way through. But an offensive foul sends it the other way. That's on Felia. Iowa, one of the best and most efficient offenses in the entire country, leading the nation in points per play. So tough to stop with that one, especially the Clark off target. Michigan really trying to cut down Clark's angles when she gets down into the paint. Layla Felia leaves back just short of a falter, stepping in. Clark, the hesitation gets all the way to the cup. The hesitation forces the defense to come out of their stance, and Clark's at the advantage, attacking the outside hip for the finish. It's part of what makes her so shifty and tough to stop. Brett, but a falter right there to lay it in off glass. Sydney a falter picking up right where she left off yesterday. Career high 18 points for her as Hobbs fouled on the three-pointer. So the foul gets called for coming into that landing area with her foot. Hobbs in double figures in their comeback win over Indiana. Down 17, Megan, in the third quarter. They win 69-56 to propel them to the semifinals. And this is a team feeling good about themselves. You want to be playing your best basketball in March is the biggest cliche you've heard of the course of the last couple of days. But still, continue bringing some of that momentum and finding the adrenaline when you're having to play three days in a row. Knocked away by Brett. Getting the assignment on Clark. Deep three. Rattles through. That's number one for Clark. Clark started out the game 0 for 10 from 3 last night. Seeing that first one go in, you can see the relief in her shoulders as that one falls. She said it was that's part of my development. I would have been pretty upset about that. Now I can see the other ways I impact a game. I just move on to the next day. When Caitlin Clark starts facilitating at a high level, that's when Iowa becomes its most dangerous. They were able to pull away against Penn State, but she wasn't scoring very much. Martin off the feed from Clark. Kate Martin understands angles better than anyone down in the paint. Hobbs, a deep three, yes! And that, silencing this crowd. Uh, silencing the crowd, and that time Kate Martin was very careful about how far she closed out on Jordan Hobbs, because the last time she did, she got called for the foul. Hobbs has all six points. Sulky now getting on the board for the Hawkeyes. Sulky is just so athletic. Falter getting the assignment on Felia, coming off a career high 30 points in their win over Indiana. She feeds Hanson and she knocks down the three. Moving without the ball is going to be key for Michigan. They have to continue looking for each other, especially on the perimeter off pink touches. Sulky inside again. Even when it almost looks like a turnover, it's an easy bucket for Iowa. Speaking of paint touches, Iowa is having a very easy time getting the ball into the lane. Michigan has to find ways to clog it and prevent dribble penetration. Hanson dials Ooh. it up. And Clark out in transition. If you're the big, you better give it up if they're going to run out for it. Caitlin Clark finding Addison O'Grady in traffic. Melissa Brett. Gets the three to go. And I love Michigan's defense. Some of the best ball screen defense in the country. But on that play right there, Abby O'Grady showing why Iowa has some of the best baseline out of bounds plays in the country. Credit to the head coach there. And Lisa Bluter, longest tenured in the Big Ten, is Taylor Woodson in her hometown. Given some really tough assignments, and she's answered the call by staying in front of people and using her physicality. She gets the assignment on Clark this time. Clark misfiring from three. Woodson surveying Clark guarding her. Woodson, the mid-range. <laughs> Going up 
to get it is stuck. Felia in uh. rhythm. Iowa focus on front team Cam Williams in the post, not allowing her a touch, but great ball movement off the second chance opportunity. And Layla Felia finally gets one to go. Clark loses it. Hanson, the trailer. She's got it. Clark going to reset. Calling her own number. Seconds for Martin lofting a three that just raises the iron and Michigan back with the ball Here six of six from long range as they settle into this possession well, They've spread the floor nicely and they've been able to capitalize off second chance opportunities when I was in a scramble situation Hanson blocked by Stolke, but a foul You're right though Coach Barnes Rico loves that she's from New York. They share the same roots. Warren Hansen played off the ball at Mizzou in college, and she came into Michigan. And Kim Barnes Rico asked her to play the point guard. Stolke. It's got nowhere to go against Cameron Williams. Kim Williams is all in Stolke's goal the moment she caught the ball. She's trying to cut off the angle here, and he passes it to the post. Stolke gets it back. Maneuvers her way in. Stolke moves perfectly without the ball. Cam Williams went to help, almost over helped, and then Stolke had a wide open lane to the rim. There is always an answer in this Iowa offense. Stolke looking to make this stop. Hannah Stolke moves so well without the ball within Iowa's offense. And you see Sydney Fulcher getting cut off there. She goes right to the rim. I mean, just jumping through traffic. Sydney Fulcher made that play happen by drawing two players. And Hannah Stolke just got into the eyeline side of a Fulcher and made things happen. Oh, Big Ten second team this year. A critical role for this squad. Ten seconds separating shot and game clock to close the first. It's in the freshman on Clark. Rifling it inside and Stolke fouled. Clark with the shot clock off. Now Hobbs in her grip. Gabby Marshall, yes! No one hotter than Gabby Marshall in the Big Ten right now from long range. We got a three-point game going in to the second quarter. They've been able to spread the floor, get second chance opportunities, and right now all the threes Michigan has made have made have been in rhythm. Iowa's defense is shifting, they're over helping at times, and Michigan's making the pay. Autumn Johnson was listening in on that Iowa huddle. Well, Coach Glitter was telling this team defensive transition is going to be important. we got to get back. Also, Warren Hansen, three for three, deny her the ball and get up. Kate Martin trying to instill some confidence in her team, saying that's the best they're going to shoot. We need to respond right here and telling Gabby Marsh to keep shooting that thing. The future coach, Kate Martin, of course, getting her voice in in every that, huddle. That's sometimes the best advice you can give a teammate. Just keep shooting the ball. And as a teammate, it's great to hear your team wants you to shoot. Sometimes just that easy for Iowa. Stolke off the court penetration. Iowa has so many different options when it comes to scoring and having success putting the ball in the basket. That little Caitlin Clark to Hannah Stolke number is something that's worked very well this year. Hobbs looks for another. She's <laughs> got it. And then Jordan Hobbs wide open all day to shoot that shot and do a couple other things as well, like hang out, watch a movie, you know. Clark read it all the way. Rex throws it away. Clark finding a falter. Everything rolling for the Hawkeyes. They can do whatever they want. it again Clark sprinting Clark finishing <laughs> Iowa 
on a 7-0 run the last minute. 16 to 3 overall. Iowa's done a better job getting into passing lanes and being disruptive one-on-one -on -one the last couple of minutes. Celia off the hesitation Ooh. goes over O'Grady, ripped down by Evans. Another opportunity for the Wolverines. And then Hansen gives it right back up. Martin blocking foul called on Brett. It's going to be her second. Falter back to Clark. Doesn't happen that time, but a Falter untouched with the putback. That is the second time Iowa has run that out of bounds play, and Clark has gotten the ball right back off the miss. You have to box out. If Caitlin Clark's going to miss a wide open three, you got to keep the Hawkeyes to one and done. Ilya, the muscle to put it up and in. She has so much finesse to her game. I love when she gets the ball down in the paint. She is so crafty with her ability to finish. Celia, five points. Backdoor cut, lands in the hands of O'Grady. Michigan still within seven. Hobbs trying to eat into it. That looks pretty when it left her hand. Clark turning on the Jets and turning the corner for two. Change of speed. Caitlin Clark does this with ease, just slightly hesitating, forces the defense out of its stance, and then she attacks that outer hip and gets to the rack. The Hawkeyes 75% shooting. Evans met by a brick wall, and Addie O'Grady, our teammate, pumping her up. Iowa coming alive on the defensive side of the ball, being in the right position. Addie O'Grady right there just has to flick the wrist to get the block. And then the pass, Caitlin Clark leads Sydney F. Falter, who catches it and leads Addie O'Grady. It's like a hockey assist. You, know, you give two players the assist. Caitlin Clark in transition, nothing better. Hezzy gets the defense out of their stance. Brett slightly stood up, and Clark attacked that hip and got to the rim. Clark now guarding Celia. Now you see Iowa sitting in their zone. They'll mix up defenses, going man-to-man -man zone is just to keep the offense off balance. Celia able to penetrate. Difficult shots. Hansen unsuccessful trying to take the charge. And numbers for Iowa. And they take advantage of Falter draining the three. Once again, the paint touch just getting into the circle. Iowa once trailed. 25-17, but Brad knows how to get this crowd in their seat. Of course, she's biased. But Lisa Bluter saying she's my sixth player of the year. Meanwhile, uh, Iowa right now is winning the battle. Points the paint 32-2 right now. The Wolverines got to find ways to get better high percentage looks. That's a great way to do it. Rudy getting nestled in the post. Finds Fierbaugh. Stopped by O'Grady, but there is a whistle. She has such a high release point on it, which makes it difficult to contest or block. In the latter part of the Big Ten portion of the season, she's taken out of the game with three first half fouls. Clark earns herself a trip to the more postseason action leading up to Selection Sunday. The best time of year. It really is. The Big Ten tournament has been so fun. Hansen walled up by Marshall. Who has been so impressed by Marshall's defense, especially yesterday. Williams, the quick post move, but Felia flying in at the last moment to keep it alive. Hansen is firing from three, and Clark has got it. Clark going to reset with Felia. Clark just gallops right to the cup. And she did a good job avoiding that contact of Hobbs coming over, trying to stun at her if she doesn't get flustered. One minute to play for Hobbs and the Wolverine. Ooh. She throws it up and in. Hobbs is a crafty scorer. Even when she's off balance, she's got that ability to re-square her shoulders to the basket and keep it as her momentum's falling backwards. Clark, logo.
15 points this quarter for Clark. Hobbs, she's feeling it. Crowd and silencer. Eight seconds, too much time for the Hawkeyes. Marshall loses the handle. Hansen thinking ahead. It is Woodson leaving it short. But we have a single digit deficit. Caitlin Clark, we mentioned her numbers 19 and 11. A great note from her hoop stats. Only 16 players have had that kind of line this season. And she's done it in the first half. Is that good? Seems like it. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a lot of players in the nation. Iowa starting out this first defensive possession in a zone against Michigan. Maybe looking to cut down those three-point opportunities and they will miss their first one. Clark dancing with Felia. She has to pass it away. A falter. Tough one. The lead wide open. Falter is getting wide open threes. Iowa is spreading the floor well. Michigan's getting caught ball watching at times. Sydney and Falter is sneaking her way to the three point line. Stepping in from Molly Davis, who we're not expected to see today, though Iowa hopeful she will be on the floor before the end of the season. But three threes for her in the quarterfinals. Here are threats. They are still red hot from long range. You always hope as a team that at halftime, the team that's shooting so well goes into the locker room and comes out cold. Michigan not doing that right now. Iowa spreading the floor well. Brett gets caught down low off the dribble penetration. Cynthia Falter playing and shooting the ball with so much confidence right now for the Hawkeyes. Michigan, you just saw that three. Normally only hitting seven per game. They're up to 10. I post Ophelia against the zone. She slices through. was right there. She did all the right things except didn't have enough on the finish. You got to get into the middle of the elbow or the free throw line if you want to break the zone. Ophelia, nine points at the half. Two and double figures as Clark has that bounce away to Mark. Wow. Inside Stolke, too strong to handle. That pass was strong from the Falter as well. Cameron Williams takes her time. That bounces out to the Falter. Plus the whistle. And she's also not afraid of contact. She does all the dirty work. You know, banging, trying to get second chance opportunities, offensive, defensive rebounds. Sydney and Falter misses do it all. She's exhausted in the best way possible. Martin taking Hansen and then kissing it off glass. Kate Martin has such great body control, especially when she's going to the basket. Rarely do you see her barrel into somebody and get a call of a charge. She's just so in control. Eight points for Martin. The crowd re-engaged. William, beautiful hook. That's what Michigan needs to get the ball inside to Cam Williams. She's got to get a touch every possession because it's going to force the defense to collapse and give a little more room on the exterior. Stolke, the lob, and an easy two. What's it? Thought about it. And a tournament like this just gives you so much confidence as a player, which Lisa Bluter definitely needs with Sydney and Fulcher, especially with the unknown status of Molly Davis moving forward. They're hoping that they can get her back for the NCAA tournament. But for Sydney and Fulcher to have this kind of play right now, it's huge for Iowa as a whole. It just adds another lethal scorer that Caitlin Clark can find on the floor. Clark for three. That also rings out. Three of ten from long range, but perhaps another opportunity. A three on one. And just that easy for the Hawkeyes. Sydney and Falter are coming in. The Wolverines, Woodson, dices her way. Needs to an opportunity for Iowa on the next. Sydney and Falter back tap. That's on Michigan to say, watch out behind you. And then Addie O'Grady with the perfect finish from Clark. O'Grady, by the way, eight points, four of four shooting, as you see Jan Jensen appropriately on cue in the shot there. Different kinds of skills. 
We have to carry the torch of what we had last season. But for the Hawkeyes, we know the legacy they have in the post. But it was never going to be just one player to fill that role of most recently Monica Sonano. Even Stolke has those different kinds of strengths. There was a foul on that play on Fearbach for first. And here's the overload on the zone from Michigan. Cameron Williams makes quick work. It just falls off. And another whistle is going to go against the Wolverines. Iowa in the bonus. Kate Martin up to nine to go along with five rebounds. A career year in her fifth season in Iowa City. The momentum of this game has been sucked out from both sides. It's been very kind of stale as of late. Jesse Michigan tried to get to the rim, get some excitement back in this by hitting some threes, but a paint touch leads to open three-point opportunities. One dribble, pull up. Hanson with the two. Now you have a little juice if you're Michigan. You can come back, try to set up here. Make sure you keep Iowa to one and done. Ilya now guarding Clark under two minutes to play here in the third. Semi-final number two, the winner moving on to take on Nebraska. Anyone can score for the Hawkeyes. Edgar Clark scores this in this third quarter. Here's Felia. Clark, the dish, and Ediger on the receiving end. 14 assists for Caitlin Clark. Whoa. Felia responding back with a three-point play. Caitlin Clark has had some games in the tournament. The record is 18. That's her career high. Clark takes off. And is fast. This is the challenge of guarding Caitlin Clark. She's very athletic and aggressive getting to the basket, so you have to stay in front of her. She understands how to bait the defense into fouling her, so she times things up perfectly where if you come out of position, that's when she makes her move to go up and draw the contact. Still a tremendous one, too. Brett saves it. Another try not there for the Wolverines. Brett going after it. Yeah, that was my first thought. What did Kaelin think about that? You gotta lobby for your team, man. Coaches, players, you name it. Brett. Oh, Brady standing her ground. It was an all-around effort for the Hawkeyes. Clark just two points in that third. But just like yesterday, the Hawkeyes pulling away. 72 to we start the fourth quarter. They scored just 13 points in that third. Marshall looked like she took an arm. And it will be a foul on Brett. That is five on her. Brett is done for today. Melissa Brett right there, and you see her go back up for the ball, and right there where she puts out her arm to keep Marshall off, she hits her in the throat. That's what the official sees. And unfortunately for Brett, that's her fifth foul when it's tournament time. Michigan should be in the NCAA tournament after making it to the semifinals. Huge win over Ohio State already this season. But it's hard when you things don't go the way you want them to in this game. Caitlin Clark starting off the fourth quarter with a bucket in the paint. She heard you say she only had two points in the third quarter and decided to turn it up a little bit. That's 48 points in the paint, by the way, as Felia gets to the rim on the other side. Iowa is so balanced when it comes to who can score and where they can score. And Caitlin Clark can score anytime from there. She just has complete command of the crowd. When she puts her hands up, it gets so much louder. It's like when you're at a stadium and on the screen it says, get loud, get loud. Clark doesn't need a screen. She just puts her <laughs> arms up. And people listen. Taken away by Lauren Hansen. Wolverines get it 
taken away again, and Clark lays it in. The Hawkeyes have been masterful at getting into the paint, and it's opened up so many opportunities for everyone in a white jersey. It is actually shocking to see this number 50 to now 14 in terms of points in the paint. Michigan was in this early because they were hitting every three they took. The perfect five to five to start out. Are you kidding me? Another paint bucket. And Stolke is clutching her leg. Goes up with it. Let's we'll see how she lands. Oh, and just right there. Oh, she learned land. <laughs> Can't even say it. Lands on Kim <laughs> Williams' foot. That's all our reaction that hurts. though. Yeah. That does it not so bad. Like. See the chance breaking out here at Target Center. Felia turning it over with this crowd so engaged. Like many, I'm sure, making the trip. There's a timeout on the court. Michigan had so many new pieces come to in this season, whether that be from the portal freshman coming in. Kim Barnes Rico said, I had to build cohesion over the course of a season instead of four years. With Emily Kaiser, Nas Hillman, and that would have changed their identity a little bit. It's become more, hey, more enhanced, and can you create, what can you do for us? Jordan Hobbs has stepped up in a huge way. She is an excellent offensive creator. Layla Filia, we've seen what she can do all tournament long. They have a ton of talent in their guards. And even Cam Williams coming in off the bench, accepting a new role. Another three for the Hawkeyes. That is nine. We saw it there. This team having so much fun. Marshall with the takeaway. Give and go back again. Yearbox. So much ball movement, and Marshall caps it up. Taylor McCabe, and probably Fearback at the two. Certainly a big lineup, not one we're used to seeing for the Hawkeyes as feeling a drink. I mean, points in the paint right now are insane. Goodman can't get it to fall. Grimaces as she goes down, wanted that one right at the rim. Cam Schrader will turn and shoot. Nice job by Michigan. Get into the gaps in the zone. Five to shoot. Does Ediger know it? And it will be a shot clock violation to the title game again. They've been in four the last five. They've won five. And they've won back to back. Philia draining the three. That puts her over 20. Layla Philia deserves a spot in the all time team this year. She has been fantastic this whole entire time, becoming one of the premier scorers in the Big Ten. And with Caitlin Clark leaving the league after this year, Layla Philia could very well be the leading scorer in the Big Ten next season. A Big Ten Player of the Year candidate, absolutely. And that's even with There's new teams coming in. Zettiger puts that up and in. Ming Ming, and I know I'm excited to see, of course, Juju, Kiki Rice, Lauren Betts from UCLA, USC. We still got Cody, Hannah Stolke, Corey Moore, McNeil. The crowd chanting Molly Davis right now. She sits behind the bench up on one of the scores tables. Everybody, of course, very sad about her absence in this tournament due to that injury sustained on senior day. I love what she said at senior day, too, that I want to be an inspiration. You don't have to be the biggest. You don't have to be the tallest. You can make an impact. Kylie Fierbach netting her first points, and that is officially 30 assists as a team. A Big Ten record and tying Iowa season high. Productivity, all out efficiency.
The Iowa Hawkeyes on to the title game. The 30 assists.